Hey y'all, so I figured I would do a quick review um, about the Smile Direct Club trays that I just got. So after a lot of research, I decided to go with Smile Direct Club instead of Invisalign. Um, number one being that Invisalign is $5,000 versus Smile Direct Club being $1,500 for both the top and the bottom trays. So it doesn't matter how much, how many of them you need them for, or if it's just the top or just the bottom, and you'll get both for a flat rate of like $1,500. So I just got these in. I will tell you, I wore them last night, so um, it does make my teeth a little sore, so I'm thinking that actually means it works, so yay. Um, they'll come like this. I won't go into great detail. Um, you essentially go into a smile shop. They'll do a scan of your teeth. If you don't have a smile shop by you, then they'll send you trays that you can actually uh, make impressions. You send it in and then they'll send the trays out to you. Um, they come like this. I got the first month. So I'll wear the first week for 17 hours a day for one week. The second week I'll wear 17 hours a day for the second week. And then the third and fourth week are the same trays. And then I'm assuming I'll get the second month soon. Um, oh, just to show you my smile now. So really, my problem is this tooth right here. Oh, I can see. It's a little behind the other ones. So. so to be fair, I've had braces before, which is also why I chose the Smile Direct Club, because I have very minor adjustments that I need done. Um, but if you're someone who maybe has a lot going on, I would at least take a consultation with Invisalign and see what you need to do. The other reason why I went with Smile Direct Club is because with Invisalign, they told me I would have to do these little like clear nubs on my teeth. And while normally you wouldn't see them, I'm an actor and so when cameras are like in my face, you could see it. So it was something I really couldn't do. Um, so here they go. Ah. They're pretty easy to snap in. Um, taking them out is a bitch. So, anyways, when you snap them at and in at night, you'll get like a chewy. So you're supposed to chew on them like throughout the weeks, and especially for the first time for at least five minutes to make sure they're a very sure fit. There's definitely a little bit of a lisp going on here, but I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, that's what they look like. And stay tuned, and I'll get week two in soon.